CBS is Young and the Restless Bowlers. Hello. Diane always has one of the worries that's disappearing from Genoa. She's not ready to do that. She still loves this small town very much, and Phyllis really feels to Diane that she's ready to make Diane suffer and even lose her life. Diane and Jeremy have many related pasts, but mostly because of money, they have no affection or closeness at all. Both love money, and together, they break the law to get more money. After the police discovered everything, their alliance fell apart, and Diane decided to report Jeremy to receive forgiveness from the police. And she gave all her money back and fled to Genoa. She knew she was wrong, and they didn't want to go up to jail. Diane, Nikki, is really unhappy with what Phyllis is doing. She alone calls Jeremy into the alliance and accepts the trade with him. Nikki's different. She doesn't want to be associated with any men. Diane and Jack grow closer because of Jeremy's arrival, but he threatens to reveal Diane's dirty past to everyone. Jack has already said he only cares about the future, and for the past he means nothing. Everything to him is nothing, so all Jeremy's efforts were futile. Jack, Kyle will do anything to protect Diane, but she knows that her future is increasingly fragile, and Kyle no longer wants to talk too much about the plan to attack Jeremy, because he wants to confront this man directly. It's time for him to be strong to protect his family. Phyllis is hated? That's not true. She's defending what she has and hoping that people will understand that. Kyle tells Phyllis that she's lost all the trust from people, and now they see her as a monster. Everything is very fragile and uncomfortable. Diane will stay with us, but she also begs Jeremy to give her a chance to change. What she does to the police is just a matter of coercion. If not, then she's the one going to jail. It's not a mistake to act to protect myself. Jeremy's a monster, but he's also a weakness, which is her reading, and the strength is not obvious at all. Phyllis and Jack will meet to talk about this, and they need to come up with their own goals and say what they want, and then someone will respond to it. Phyllis may have poked the bear, but her plan would backfire with the young and the restless.